Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to today's video. In uh, this PvP showcase, it's uh, gonna be a collab between the two OG. Uh, what what do I call them? <laughs> like OG characters that Death Marble has created for Seven Deadly Sins: Ragnarok and Catastrophes. I'm gonna be running Awakened Mono with Red Brynhild and Sigurd. It's my favorite team now, so you know what? I use Rimuru, I use Meli. Sometimes I use Kadi and Ludo. Why not start using Awakened Mono? Add more debuffs, add more lowering defense and shit. So, um, I'm gonna be running Mono on uh, Attack and Crit. Uh, fun fact, Mono is the <laughs> one and only character that has 6-6 on release. Every other character I have in this game, I just, like, summon one copy, two copies, and then wait for them to come back. Maybe I 6 sticks them, maybe I don't, so... She's the first one I actually go all in for, because she has a Lost Vein ult. An enhanced Lost Vein. It's the same ult, but with the passive, it just makes her always one-shots. No matter what. Even if you don't have cards, she's still gonna one-shot. But, of course, you have to have her 6-6. Six, six. So, um, Mono on Global still doesn't have the uh, fifth weapon, which is the Penguin uh, Hawk Pass cosmetics, and she doesn't have a Relic yet. Uh, hopefully they get, like, I would actually prefer if they delay the Relic to make it usable, like, to make it something that would match the future metas, but if she gets a Relic, she's also gonna be so good, so she go she's good already, but she needs that extra, you know, tankiness, she needs... Is that a Valenti? Oh my god, not this team! I think it's a bot. I think it's a bot. I hope. And I hope she doesn't have tar meal. She doesn't. Okay. But I think I still lose because uh, you can't kill her. Because I'm running green <laughs> Um, Hold on. So I, if I use the debuff with Sigurd, she's going to only have Extort, which I don't want. I, I want to keep the defense lowering. So let's try and do that. Okay. Some good damage. Sigurd, please crit. For the love of God. Ah, not good. Yes, let's go! Okay, the match is over. Uh, since this is a bottom run, I'm gonna skip. See you in the next match. Alright, Pace and Goddess team. Even if it's a bot, I'm still going to, uh, to take it because it's funny facing uh, the Goddess team with Mono. Not, nothing against the Goddess team, but Mono deals uh, really good with uh, <laughs> with this team. So you kill, you kill Margaret and the match is over because I think also sorry will die ah uh, oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I've been facing a lot of players who run like blue tarmil in the back on the goddess team I don't understand why like most probably people will kill Margaret what would blue tarmil do by himself if blue tarmil doesn't have the Margaret buff he's not gonna do anything Okay. This should kill. The match is over anyways. <laughs> See you next match. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Facing the uh, rank 1 team, according to JP. Do you have a Tarmiel? Of course you do. 5-6. I think it's a bot. Yeah, it's a bot. Okay, 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 okay. So, I attack with... I'm gonna keep Mono to the last, so let's do this, this, and this. Hopefully she would kill. I doubt because Red Tarmiel, but if we get the crits, which we do, you have to kill now. Ah, oh, OP. Let's go. He had three cards. Nice. Nice bot. Uh, I don't think the man, like, can he kill melee with, the, with these cards? Hmm. That's a bot, it's not gonna rush Melee's ult, but you know, if it's a real player and they would rush Melee's ult, I might struggle here. Because uh, Mono's AoE, early in the game, it doesn't do that much damage. The single target is fine, of course, but the, the AoE, it tickles. <laughs> it doesn't do a lot of damage. The, uh, the good thing about this team is that Mono adds an extra debuff, which, of course, lowered the defense as well, but the defense rate and stats, but the, um, the good thing, too, is that I'm running Zeldris in the back. So that increases my um, 
what should we call it? My basic stats, which is um, really good. Can you kill though? If I kill Melia. Ah, yeah, we kill. Okay, see you next match. I'm doing so. I'm doing the matches quicker because I don't want to like bore you guys watching me facing bots. So you can tell me in the comments if you want to keep it like full matches, but or just skip because no one cares about bots, right? But yeah, see you next match. All right, we're back. Um, Ludu and Gold Farmer King. Okay. Um, that's a bot. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if she can kill King with level two. Let's do debuff and do this. Let's see if she can kill his King. King is very squishy anyway. I'm expecting him to get his relic pretty soon because um, he's uh oh damn. Uh. Expecting Festival King to get his relic soon to be usable for the wolves, so make sure to farm your, your deer, because um, I feel it, it's coming. Festival King is going to get his relic pretty soon. Although, like, summoning for- I didn't make a video for Thonar if he should summon or not, but I mean, you know what, I might make a video after this for Thonar, but... because. ReZero is already, like, we know everything now about ReZero, it's just gonna drop tomorrow on JP. And, um, like, I have an opinion here, but people might disagree, and of course, everyone is entitled to their opinion. Uh, I'm not saying skip Thonor, I'm just saying... <laughs> do the 31 diamonds, like the two first multis. If you don't get lucky, I would say skip. Because, uh, of course, I'm not talking to free to plays. If you're a free to play, you have to summon for um, for Thonar. If you're a dolphin, you know what? Since you pay already, you yeah, just get Thonar. But I'm just gonna say because, like for me now, I, I'm completely free to play because I don't like the game's direction for the past year. I'm just because. When you introduce the dark coins, they just completely uh, nerfed the value of the festival coins. And now, when Dark Melee came back on the Liz banner, where is Melee in the coin shop? So that's, that was my breaking point for me becoming a free-to-play, so... I don't know. If you're a free-to-play, you shouldn't summon collab banners. Except Rimuru. Rimuru is the only exception, because Rimuru is really good. You can even use him without cosmetics. Uh, but the new characters that are dropping for E0, they are okay. Uh, Ram and Ram both got a good relics. For, like, Ram... I keep missing the names. The one with the pink hair. She got a ruptured card buff. It's fine, just extra stats. They're gonna get her for free. And Ram, the blue haired... Uh, she's getting the... Uh, why am I talking about E0 in this video? You know what? I'll, I'll do another video. Let's focus on this one. <laughs> it's a bot. I probably will end it with this. Okay. Does it have a Tarmil though? It doesn't. Okay, so let's try this. Let's try triple AoE. Let's see this. Does it kill an entire team? No crits. Ah. Uh, how? Now you crit. <laughs> Oh man, okay, I got another one. Maybe there is a chance. I don't know. I'm just... I want to say skip Thonar, but again... I don't like her cards, but her passive is what make her only good option now for, uh, for the wolves. Uh. I'm just not Thonar. Who? Why? Why Thonar? You know the meme with uh, not the meme like with Guardians of the Galaxy when Drax says uh, why Gamora? Yeah, why? Why did you pick her out of anyone? You could have picked Scotty. Make a new Scotty because at least she has an AOE ult that can heal everyone. <laughs> you picked Thonar with a weak point ult. What am I gonna do with that? I'm like in my head I feel like there's another wolves unit that will drop again. 
but it's just because they never release two units that has the same pa like have the exclusive passive for specific content because we only have Megilda for the bird and your Megander for the deer, right? Other like we don't have other units that have like you know similar um, passive to the demonic beast and stuff, so it just feels weird. Bone or the weak point alt, and you can't even debuff the wolves. I went on a tangent to talk about <laughs> Thonar, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this team for real. Uh, I hope Mono gets a relic soon. With uh, like, once we know what next meta is, this is when I want a relic to be. So, don't really like release an, a relic right now for Mono to be like to counter the demons or anything because she's already countering Isoroso because she's green and she's do a lot of damage anyway. But I'll say maybe if unknown is the actual meta, maybe it's time to get a relic, but I hope it's not <laughs> too soon. And I also don't hope it's not too late because I already got her 6-6 and I want to actually keep using her. I'm not saying she's bad, but I'm just saying that, you know, <laughs> I'm contradicting myself, but I want to use her more since I got her 6-6. I'm biased, okay? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's uh, gonna be it for uh, today's video. Gonna drop another video today, uh, actually no, tomorrow, for ReZero and, um, uh, what am I called, Thonar, who you should summon for, who you should skip, and all that stuff. Also, there's gonna be a podcast anyway tomorrow, so actually no, it's gonna be today, because when this uploads, it's gonna be today. But yeah, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and 